All right, welcome back, everybody. I'm getting to this Wheel Horse 702 here. I said in the earlier video, earlier video, I wanted to see if I can get this running, just for the sake of having it running when it goes on to the next owner. So we're going to see if we can at least get it to fire up. This has electric start, has a battery in there. It's a, an old battery. The wires are getting corroded. I want to try to not have to change out the battery just to start it. The electric start will work. I have a charger on it and I, I tried jumping it. It tries to turn over. So the starter actually does work. There's just not enough power in the battery and it's not going to get enough power with a charger just because the battery is so old. It's dated 2006. So it's an old battery. So I'm going to take that cover off, take the belt off because the pulley is actually set it's made to wind the rope around it so that's what i'm going to try and do i'm going to try and start it with the rope and see how that works but before i get into that i want to thank everybody that's hitting subscribe my numbers are doing really good to try and get up there to where you know it gets monetized so i just want to thank everybody that 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 hits that button it really means a lot that people think enough of what I'm doing to actually hit the button so let's try and get this cover off here Well, I hear something inside there. Hopefully it's just acorns. So the first thing before we're gonna try and start this, we're gonna check the oil. Because if the engine is good, and it's low in oil or out of oil, well, now the engine's not gonna be good if it does happen to start. So this here is where you check the oil on this. And with this being the modern engine that it is, there should be a dipstick on the bottom of this plug. So here we can see that there is oil on it and there's there's actually hash marks there and a, and a full mark. So this has plenty of oil and it's filled up where it should be. And this goes right into the, the crankcase. This doesn't go into a tube that fills up with oil when you turn the engine over like a lot of the newer engines. You turn them over, you pump oil up into that tube. You don't get an accurate reading if you don't clean it off. This is right in the crankcase. So I'm going to give this a couple pulls just to wake it up before I actually try to start it. Well, I heard a little bit of compression come out the exhaust that time. So on something like this, you want to make sure that the throttle linkage is not stuck. Because sometimes when they sit, it gets gummed up in the shaft there, and it could be sitting with it wide open. 
Now this one actually wants to go back to idle because of where the throttle is actually set. But sometimes they stick and they can be wide open and the governor may not be able to overcome that if it does start up. So that one's the throttle, that's working. That's trying to move, but I think the choke is a little sticky. Because there is some residue in the end of the carburetor there. Alright, so we're going to turn the key on so it has spark. I had the battery charger hooked up to it, so it should have some voltage in it even without the, the starter alternator turning <clears throat> or that's probably a starter generator really at least in cars alternators were not very common at this point not till closer to the mid 60s so let's see what happens here She wants to run. So now at this point, we know that it has spark because it fired up. We know it has compression. The valves are opening and closing. It started up and it sounded good. There's something rattling in there. I'm sure everybody heard that. But I really think that's something that an outside visitor carried inside the engine. So now I had said in another video that I would like to drive it around but for that it should really have a battery and those wires are really corroded and I'm afraid if I try to change the battery I'm going to have to be fixing those wires and I don't really have time for that right now and I don't really need to do that because it's going to its new home the owner's waiting for it to come and uh I don't need to do a whole lot of extra work to it but we already know that it runs so I am going to put a little bit of gas in it though just because I want to see so we're going to add a little bit of gas I'm going to try to not do anything with that fuel bowl under there turn the key off so we don't burn up the points because this does still have points Just enough to cover the bottom of the gas tank, that's all we need. And there's air bubbles coming up through there. So that means the gas should be going somewhere. This does have a little fuel pump right there. So that's one more thing that may need work. You know, you know there's going to be a diaphragm in there. That possibly could be dried out. Right here above the fuel bowl is a shutoff, and it's open anyway. Huh. This may be what was making the noise in there. Well, the bowl is not filling up. May just be that the fuel can't flow because it's maybe the float stuck shut and it's not letting any air go through there for the fuel to follow it. So we'll crank it over a little bit more once I find the rope. See if we can suck some of that fuel in here. And turn the key back on.
Give it another squirt here. As soon as it started turning. Not getting anything else in the bowl there but the engine does sound good Well, it doesn't look like it's going to run on its own. Either the fuel line is clogged up back there, or the fuel pump is just not working. Well, at least we found out that it runs. So now the next thing would be to get fuel up to the carburetor, which means it has to go through there. And that bowl is gummed up on the bottom. So it, it may be that it's gummed up at the inlet where the valve is. You know, that stuff in there is liquid now, but now we're getting a little bit of drip now. Yeah, it seems like the fuel just isn't going into that, into the bowl there. But uh, yeah, the next step would be to get the fuel to get up to the pump. Probably the pump is bad from sitting. The, the diaphragm probably is not good. You know, then you would check the carburetor. I'm not going to take the carburetor apart. It runs. That was the whole goal here was just to see if it runs. There's a good chance that the carburetor would get replaced if it needed any work. Just because till you take it all apart, I mean obviously you're not going to be doing this to make any money. But uh, till you take it apart and order a kit and put it back together and hopefully it doesn't leak. Or you know maybe you need a float. I don't know if these floats are even available anymore. That's probably brass. You know it might be corroded through at this point. But yeah, you know, getting the carburetor working once you get fuel to it. And then you could probably run this thing around. You fix the wiring, put a good battery in it, and uh, a nice little piece to, to ride around your yard or, you know, take to a parade maybe. But this here is basically, you know, how I go about seeing if something's going to run. You don't need to, the carburetor does not need to function for it to run or even to start. You don't need a carburetor to start it. The only thing you need the carburetor to do is to control that throttle plate so you, that you don't get too much fuel and air and, and have it run away. That's the only thing the carburetor needs to do to see if the engine will run. You know, you, 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 that's one of the last things you want to worry about because if there's something else keeping the engine from running, you know, then, then you need to figure out what that is. Mechanically, it could be valves or, or a cam could be bad. So, you know, there's no need to waste your time rebuilding the carburetor before you know if the thing's going to even run. You know, because the carburetor is not that hard, even if you have to just replace it. You know, but 
you want to try to to make sure that you're going to be able to get to the end before you do too much work to it so you know as you saw just because this had means for a pull rope i didn't need to worry about the starter working i didn't need to put a battery in it although i have a battery ready but i saw these little cutouts through the cover and i'm like i'm just going to pull it so you know so now we know what it needs to run we need to get gas up here then we worry about the carburetor but the the guy it's going to that's going to be his little project he's really looking forward to getting this without it even running but now you know he knows that the engine's good it has spark the points are working the coil is good this here will work to turn it over if it has enough power going to it you know based on the, the re condition of the rest of this you know this voltage regulator probably works you know the whole machine is in pretty good shape so i'm going to put it back together the way it was put the hood back on it it's going to go on its merry way to its new owner and everybody's going to be happy so if you like these kinds of videos like i always say you know hit like and you know if it's valuable enough to you you know a subscribe would be really nice so we'll see you guys in the next video